Good morning. JD Nyjah, Word of Truth. Man, the Heavenly Father is great. And His only begotten Son is awesome. Yahweh, Adonai, the existent one, the one that we shouldn't even be messing around with if we had any reverence. That whole reason why a lot of us stayed in plantation Christianity and bowed down to the to the pastor is because in our hearts we knew uh, that we had to be careful stepping into this this wisdom and knowledge. There's um there's danger there. And as I move forward with my teachings, um, I hope I sh can continue to show um, renewed reverence for the power and glory and honor that we should be giving our Heavenly Father, His only begotten Son, and His plan, this, the story of, of our redemption, and to understand it better. And to, to shy away from um, these men that claim to know so much. Um, it's, it's pathetic. Um, the arrogance that, the, that some of these camps have. Um, the Lord doesn't want you to hate people. It's easy. It's easy to hate, to hate ignorant people. It's easy. I don't like ignorant people either. But um, how do we? How do we? What kind of example are we showing if we're saying, "Oh, this and that," and we we're good, you're bad. You know what? That's monkey brain nonsense. So I was going into um, the fact that um, the Bible doesn't talk about the Idumeans in the New Testament. It's not. It's not. It's not in Jesus or Yahushai's or Solomon's or Adam's. It's not in their. It's not in his um, sights. It doesn't matter. It, it's not, that's there. These camps are talking about something that just is obsolete. They're bringing up obsolete reality that um, that has no that has no bearing on anything. The wicked are who the wicked are. <laughs> White, brown, Chinese, um, Indian. Um, the wicked are, are the ones that don't know God. And obviously, um, if GMS could have someone hold a mirror up to them, and ha they wouldn't get away, and they would have to stay there and answer, um, they would have no answer to why, why, why when we look in the mirror, we see a devil. Why, why is it, Tahar, when you look in the mirror, you see a devil? It's because you have wrong belief. Yeah, you have devilish beliefs and you have, and you're pushing out devilish devilish doctrine we're on a spinning web ball rocket Joseph's the father of Yahushai um Idumia is white people you don't know that you don't know shit Gabar I can't stand that mother anymore You know, I'm, I, I don't like to hate, but these guys are just out of control. Um, so when I was in, I was just in Romans, I was talking about um, in Paul, where Paul brings up the fact that um, Jacob have I loved and Esau have I hated, 913. 
um, down at the bottom of 96 where it's let me go back to it um, Paul's burden for Israel I say the truth in Christ this is 9 1 I lie not my conscience also bearing me witness in the Holy Ghost so right off the bat he's going this is the truth people and the Holy Ghost is witnessing what I'm saying and that's why this is doctrine that I have great heaviness and continued sorrow in my heart for I could wish that myself were accursed from Christ for my brethren my kinsmen according to the flesh who are Israelites to whom pertaineth the adoption and the glory and the covenants and the giving of the law and the service of God and the promises whose are the fathers and of whom as concerning the flesh Christ came who is over all God blessed forever amen concerning the flesh um, the, the Lord did not break his promise that um, as far as men are concerned Yahweh Shai is of the tribe of Judah under Mary and under his stepdaddy Joseph these two lines go back to Judah and that's what Paul's saying here he's saying thank goodness gracious that my people have been given a savior under the banner of Israel um, not as though the word of God has taken none effect for they are not all Israel which are of Israel neither because they are the seed of Abraham are they all children but in Isaac shall they seed be called that is they which are the children of the flesh these are not the children of God, but the children of the promise are counted for the seed. Um, that's where Paul's trying to explain to these idiots, if they would just read the book, that it's not about, at the end of the day, it's not of the flesh. It's not of this sperm. It's not of these these this bloodline carrying on and on and on. It's the fact that as Israel, you already knew, you already knew that you were going to be saved. You, you believed in the promise. You already knew that it was going to be that way. You don't have to stand out on the corner and go, no, I'm the seed of Israel. I am. And you're not. Ha ha ha. That's not, that's, what Paul's saying is here is the reason you know you're Israel because you knew it in the regeneration. You were, you were already part of that. You, you feel it. You don't have to, you don't have to claim it to anyone. You already know in your heart. So when, when I stand out, when I sit here and I talk about myself as an Israelite, I'm not saying it as, um, I'm black or I'm, I'm Indian or I'm Jamaican, I'm, I, I'm, I'm the seed of Abraham. I'm, I've been here for a long time and I know I've been here for a long time. That's the difference. I never hear these guys going, man, in my, in my previous lives, I must've did something wrong because this, that they must've done something wrong because they're talking wrong doctrine. They weren't there. So down below it says, um, Romans 9, 6, they are not all Israel, which are of Israel. The contrast is between Abraham's physical descendants and his spiritual descendants. Not all of Abraham's physical descendants are to be recipients of his spiritual blessings. And that's where we need to break free of this Hebrew Israelism, this fleshy, carnal um, if you're not black, you're not Native American, you're not a Mexican, you're not of the islands, you're not Israel. You're an Edomite. Eh. That's where these guys are. They, they need to read this section over and over again to remind themselves, you need to humble yourselves, you dummies. Um, I'll read it again. Not all of Abraham's physical descendants are to be recipients of his spiritual blessings. What follows in verses 7 through 18 shows how God's eternal purpose 
played a hand in Israel's history. <sighs> so then when it talks about Esau, it talks about the adoption. And I'm not going to go all into that. That's where Joseph adopted Yahushai as his own son so that it would fulfill prophecy. And these guys, I don't know what where their heads are at, but it's, it's getting old listening to their silliness. I wish there was other people like myself that would, um, I mean, I love spiritual life lessons. These guys are very, very humble, very polite to the elders. They're, they're actually trying to love them back into reality. Um, and all, all we keep getting, Apostle Tahar had to, had to put the brothers up on their thing and talk about how wicked they are. It's like sad, man. It's sad. It is really sad. So let's, let's go back to Job where, oh man, I do not feel good. Ah. Um, Job talks about this wicked Job was one of the first books ever written in the Bible. So when we go back to Job, see, they're going all the way back to the beginning. But when you read Job, you got to understand that um, this is the this is the genesis of what it means to be a believer in Christ. Job is an example of, you know what? I have no idea what's going on. All I know is there's a creator and I trust him to take care of me in the end. And that's where we all should be. And that's where, um, man, I've, I've never seen such a um, arrogant bunch of believers as we see with some of these um, Hebrew Israelites, man. It's, it's an Israel that is mean-spirited, baby. Um, I'm just going to read through a little bit of Job. If you read Job, you can understand. Job, Job got... It's an example of what Satan can do to a person to test, test their belief. And when it talks about this, that the world is given into the hands of the wicked that's that's mean that means from the very beginning when we when we were fallen i don't know how they how they tie it in with um the edomites it's like um job job goes so far back and job was part of the same grouping of people that were um, so early in the, in the story that his friends were Edomites. His, his friend's name was what? Teman? I, I forget. It's like, I'm, my head isn't all together right now, so I can't pull these things out of my butt. But if you go back to Job, you, you know that there wasn't a whole lot of differentiation between the peoples yet there was all we know is the hand was the world was given into the hand of the wicked because we knew that Satan was here the wet the the one who wanted to control this place is still here and he's giving me a fucking headache right now and I'm pissed <laughs> um, if God would not withdraw his anger this is Job 9 <clears throat> 13 if God will not withdraw his anger the proud helpers do stoop under him. How much less shall I answer him and choose out my words to reason with him? Can we reason with God? Can, can we say, oh, get those Edomites. That's not our place to, to point out the wicked. We see it. <clears throat> we see it when it comes to us. We see it when it's around us. But to, but to box everyone in and go, Oh, all the all the white men are, are wicked. That's just plain ignorant. Whom though I were righteous, yet I would not answer. 
So Job's righteous, but he's not going to say shit. Because he does, he's saying, I don't know. And I would make supplication to my judge. If I had called and he had answered me, yet would I not believe that he had hearkened unto my voice. So if I'm calling out to him going, Lord, um, I pray that you do this. I pray that you do that. And he does it. Do I claim that he heard me? Do I, do I have that much arrogance to say, my prayers are anxious, answered, I'm righteous? No, you just thank the Lord and say, thank you, thank you, thank you. Be it your will, be done, I thank you. Um, humbly. Um, for he breaketh me with a tempest and multiply my wounds without cause. Um, I'm getting I'm getting beat to shit right now. Um, the devil is up on me. And if I don't call on man to save me, I'm probably going to fail. So we'll see what happens if, if the Lord will, will heal me or if he's saying, dude, this is this is what you get for speaking out for me, right? Um, he will not suffer to take my breath, but filleth me with bitterness. If I speak of strength, lo, he is strong. And if of judgment, who shall set me a time to plead? When, when do I get to when do I get my to sit before the Lord and tell him? I, I I do not want to come before the king unprepared and ready to get struck down. And so with these guys, the way they 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 act like they're already on the judgment seat, and which is wrong. Though I were perfect, yet would I not know my soul, I would despise my life. Right? These wicked ass people should be despising themselves. Um, and then it says, this is one thing, therefore I said it. He destroyeth the perfect and the wicked. He destroyeth the perfect and the wicked. Um, do I hope that my following of him is going to be sufficient so that when I stand before him, he'll go, good work, true and faithful servant. Enter into my rest. Yes. But at the same time, am I very cautious not to offend my brother or offend him, especially him? I want, to pro I want to protect the word and I want to defend the word. But at the same time, I don't want to go off and say, I know what he's thinking. I know what he wants. I know what he's going to do. I Let his will be done, not mine. Yahushai never says anything about I, I do me and never. Oh, okay. So I'm going to, I'm going to get this and then we're going to go to Mark. I'm going to show you something. Um, this one thing, therefore I said, he destroyed the perfect and the wicked. If the scourge slay suddenly, he will laugh at the trial of the innocent. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covereth the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? The ones that are, the wicked are the ones that are hiding the truth. So when they, when GMS, this great millstone, tries to say, oh, they're, they won't let us speak. They, we're the judges. And we're the ones that are, how do they say it? Um, ruling with honor and, and what, um, whatever they say, they're ruling. They're, they're not ruling nothing. They're ruling the, the wicked. The faces of the judges are the ones that are out here um, getting beat down that no one's listening to. That that their channel can't get any traction because um, because no one understands what what the true judges are saying. 
So let's go to Mark. See if I can find this. I, I... All right, it's right here. I found it. This is Mark. The multitude follow Jesus. Get this. You son of a guns. Mark 3, 7. The multitude follow Jesus. Verse 7 of Mark 3. But Jesus withdrew himself with his disciples to the sea. And the great multitude followed from Galilee and followed him and from Judea and from Jerusalem and from Idumea and from beyond Jordan and they about Tyre and Sidon and a great multitude when they had heard what great things he did came unto him and he spoke to his disciples that a small ship should wait on him because of the multitude lest they should throng him and he had healed many and so much as they pressed upon him for to touch him as many as had plagues and unclean spirits when they saw him fell down before him and cried saying thou art the son of God and he straightly charged them that they should not make him known <sighs> who followed who followed Yahushai what did what did Mark record here in um, Mark 3 8 GMS Who followed Jesus, GMS? Galilee, Judeans, those from Jerusalem, those from Tyre and Sidon, and those from Idumea. So this wicked Hebrew Israelism is going nowhere. They have no leg to stand on. Their doctrine is flunky. They're, they're teasing Israel into, into the pit. And they're speaking lies. And I'm downright sick of it. But will but will JD Nija? Will, will I ever have a hundred subscribers? Will I ever have seventy three subscribers? Maybe. Maybe when things start really popping off and people are going, that don't sound right. That don't sound right. Now this, this guy has some bread. Wow. Thank God for J.D. Nyjah. I'm eating. I'm being filled. I'm being fed. The truth. The true bread. The bread of life. Did the Lord say it would be this way? Yeah. I said it would be this way. I'm, in, I'm still in the same lot that I've always been in. I've been saying this over and over again. That's why I am am who I am. They didn't listen then and, they, and they're not listening now. Who are you? Who are you? Just a voice crying out in the wilderness, people. Come back to your to your heavenly Father with humility and, and a contrite spirit, and know that He is God. He made you a certain way. There's no way to ch there's no way to change anything except the way you feel about Him. And if, you're, and if you're listening to nonsense and you're listening to evil, wicked men, you're going to end up being an evil, wicked man yourself. 
It's your brother J.D. Nigel, Word of Truth. What can I say? I'm going to keep saying it. I'm going to keep finding these truths. They're going to pop out all the time, every day. What's it say? Who followed Jesus? The Idumians. Who's the Idumians, GMS? It's those Edomites. It's those red, red devils. It's those, those wasted away. Whatever. Whatever, Tahar. Whatever, Gabar. Can't wait to wave bye-bye to you as your sh ship sails off into hell. <laughs>